Like, are you really, like, ordained to do this? Can you see your license? Yes. Yeah. License. Yeah. License. Yeah. License. Yeah. License. Yeah. So, um, we'll do the unicam yeah. oh, okay. So, on behalf <laughs> of Doug and Pauline, I want to welcome all of you here to this special occasion. This is a happy occasion and a special opportunity to be among family, among friends. So, uh, and George. <laughs> George, my pleasure being here. Um, wait, George, wait at the camera. George will be collecting the gifts. Oh, yeah, please leave all the gifts over there. It's appropriate uh, that as we seek the Lord's presence, uh, bless this incredible union again. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just ask God to bless this time. Father, we thank you for this time that we can celebrate love and celebrate what you've done in this family for so many years. And I pray, Lord, that as we take this time just to recall and to reclaim love, I just pray, God, that you'll bless it and bless our words. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So, um, I'd like to uh, take a few moments to declare some things that God heard. In Corinthians, 1 Corinthians, it says, love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy, love does not parade itself, it's not puffed up, it does not behave rudely, it does not seek its own, it does not provoke, it thinks no evil, it does not rejoice in iniquity, but rejoices in truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. So Doug, understanding that this is God's instruction to you regarding how you love Paulina, as the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you recommit yourself to love her in this way? Do you promise to love and to uphold her and to join with her in making a home that shall endure in love and in peace? Do you reaffirm your commitment to a deeper union with her whereby you shall both know joy and fulfillment of love? Do you renew your pledge to completely, be completely faithful to her through all the challenging and changing seasons of life? Do you know of your own free will, you give of yourself completely to her, to love her in body, mind, and soul, that you shall be hers alone, as long as you both shall live. What my whole heart is. I should say as long as you both shall live from this point on, because it's a poem. Yeah, from now on. <laughs> Starting today. <laughs> Understanding that love is, uh, this is God's instruction, and you're regarding how you're to love Doug. As the Holy Spirit empowers you, do you recommit yourself to love him in this way? Do you promise to love and uphold him and join with him in making a home that shall endure in love and in peace? Do you reaffirm your commitment to a deeper union with him, whereby you shall both know joy and fulfillment of love? Do you renew your pledge to be completely faithful to him through all the challenging seasons of life? You know of your own free will. Give yourself completely to him to love him in body, mind, and soul. That shall be that you are his alone, and you'll love him as long as you both shall live. <laughs> She's like, hmm. No, 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 no. <laughs> so we're doing back door somewhere else. So I want you to think back to the day when you first pledged your love to each other. Your love was young and was strong. You had grand dreams and a bright future. Now you have reached a new plateau in your life. You face the challenges of children, mortgages, and bills. You have seen the challenges that have come with the years. Still, you are committed to one another and are giving public testimony to that commitment between all of us and George. And George. Yes. <laughs> and as you renew your vows, you can make these promises with boldness. Your love is more mature and refined than it was. The challenges have been real, but God has been with you and with us today as well. And he stands as a witness to these vows. He stands ready to help you fulfill them. You repeat these words after me in boldness. So, so Doug, you take Pauline's hands and look into her eyes and renew your vows with her. I renew now the vows. Go ahead and repeat after me. I renew now the vows. I made when we became husband and wife. I, Doug, I, Doug, take you, Pauline, take you, Pauline, 
to be my wedded wife again. <laughs> to have him to hold, to have him to hold from this day forward, this day forward. For better for worse, for better for poor, for richer for poorer, richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, <laughs> to love and to cherish. <laughs> That's why I hate it. And to love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Again. Again. Pauline, say these words after me. Hi, Pauline. Hi, Pauline. Thank you, Doug. I thank you, Doug. I renew now these vows. I renew now these vows. I made them became husband and wife. I, <laughs> Pauline. I, Pauline. Take you, Doug. Take you, Doug. To be my husband again. Take my, be my husband again. again. To have him to hold. To have him to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, or poor. Richer, or poor. In yeah. sickness and in health. In health. In ministry. In ministry, to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. What tokens do you have today to symbolize this <laughs> union you're making? <laughs> nice. So I take this ring and put it on Pauline's finger and repeat these words after me. I, the. Where's my ring? Where's my ring again? <laughs> Do you want to look at it a little bit? I like it. Wow. It looks better. That's better than the one you just gave me. That's so much better. It's a nice one. It looks like your face. <laughs> I need a camera to get it. Oh, wow. That's how Wow. Better. All the family wants to see it. See? I haven't had my wedding ring for a while. It was Mom, broken. Mom, can I have your other wedding ring so I can sell it on eBay? <laughs> <laughs> I think it would take you three to put it on back screen. Okay. I want to sell more now. I want to sell more again. There you go. So as a part of this union, um, I'd like to even uh, take this opportunity to partake in communion. Oh, so that's appropriate wow. for this room that we're in, but that's it. Thank you, those pictures. I love you. We're going to remove the top. We're warming up. There's two. There's two. There you go. I love it. I love it. Paul said, I receive from the Lord what I also pass on to you. Lord Jesus, the night was betrayed, took bread, and broke it, and said, This is my body, which is broken for you. Take me. So go ahead and take off the bread. In the same manner, he said, This cup represents a new covenant I'm making in my blood for the forgiveness of sins. Go ahead and take Father, I thank you for what you did for us on the cross so long ago, and the symbolism of what it does for us today, that we could have a union and we could have forgiveness. But more than that, we can have blessing in their life. And Lord, I pray now for Doug and Pauline, I thank you for 25 years of blessing in their life. I thank you for walking with them, Lord God, for bringing them to faith, for maturing them in their faith, for blessing them with children, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that as they go forward from this place, that you'll continue to bless them. To let your love shine upon them. I pray that you'll bless their health, bless their marriage, bless their children, bless their family, bless the things they touch their hands to, I pray. May it be so evident that your hand is upon them and that your blessing is with them. Thank you, Lord God, for them. Thank you for what you did for us. And Lord, we once again thank you that you're going to bless them with another 25 great years. In Jesus' name. So, Doug, you may now kiss your brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wave to the camera. There we go. All right. Audio. That's closing. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised. I got a car on my game car. I crushed it. You broke it? It like twisted it somehow on the door.